Hello, Assalamu alaikum and hi to everyone. So uh, today I will going to show you how to use a code block. It's a programming tools for C programming. So first of all, you need to find the software code block in the website and search in the Google here is code block and search to the website. Right and click on the download link that given to the left side of here binaries and search for the suitable software and right now you need to use this link which is uh, mingw-setup.exe and this software is updated 29 march of 2020 So right now I have a code block in my machine. So what I need to do is we just to create an empty file for C program by using the code block software. So first of all, we need to click on the file menu new and click on the empty file or the short button by clicking Ctrl Shift N for the new file. So notice that the file is untitled which is this file is not being saved as the C program yet so right now right click on the tab and save right now okay so name it as your own file hello world world for example dot c that stands for the extension for C program so as you can see here is the line number the stated two line for the code and with the green bar of, of this one and means that the syntax for C program is activated for this code. So in order to increase the text of the code inside this code block is just directly press the control button in the keyboard and scroll down to increase the text of size. Control scroll up in order to decrease the size of the text. So right now I want to keep the size as this one. Now we need to write down the standard code in this program in order to display the hello world. So include stdio that stand for the preprocessor directive library that for the input and output integer main the main function open and close curly bracket for this one tap print f parenthesis double code type down hello world And don't forget to put the semicolon at the end of the parenthesis. So build the program and run the programs. While well, you got this output of hello world by having a very standard format for this one. Right? So since we are using the integer return value here, it is necessary to put a return zero here. Right? So meaning that whenever the code is execute successfully so the program will return a zero decimal number back to the calling functions